Okay, so let us proceed on running our simulation again to run the three scenarios. So before doing that, make sure that we're on our no firewall scenario. So click scenarios menu and select switch to scenario. Then make sure that no firewall is selected. And then click scenarios menu again, then click manage scenario. Then change the results field to recollect or collect. And then click OK to run the scenario. Okay, once done, click close. Now we're ready to view our results, so click results menu and click compare results. So let us check first our HTTP results. And as you may see, page response time in seconds is grayed out. So that means we cannot gather results from here. Because in some Upnet IT Guru Academic Edition 9.1 soft, when one of the scenarios statistics is different to the other scenarios statistics, then it will create conflict. That is why we are not seeing results on page response. However, we can pull out the graph that we saved a while ago. And it shows that the network with firewall has much longer page response time in seconds due to the proxy processing latency that the firewall imposed. So go ahead and minimize this window and expand the response time in seconds under DV query. And as expected, the scenarios with firewall have a slower response time due to the same reason. It is because of the proxy processing latency that the firewall imposed. And now expand traffic bytes per second in DV query and click show. As you may see, there are more traffic in no firewall scenario because there is no filtering going on and all application traffic is allowed, that means it is not secure. So go ahead and close, then delete this graph. And now expand the traffic receive bytes per second under HTTP. And it seems surprising that the red and blue graph has almost the same traffic. But what I want to press on this graph is that the green graph actually shows no traffic, which is correct since we block HTTP traffic in the third scenario. When done, keep just close the open windows and press Ctrl S to save the project. So Laboratory 6 is now complete and I hope you are able to gain basic understanding about the security feature of Firewall as well as its benefit in a network. Also, I hope that the laboratory has provided some basic tips when planning and designing a network. Please check embrace.csumb.edu for more tutorials. Thank you for watching this video.